Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Fruit Ninja and Angry Birds on the MacBook M1 from 2010. So I have a MacBook M1, uh, MacBook Air uh, from 2010, uh, and it's running on the M1 chip. And I know a lot of people have had troubles um, installing BlueStacks and any like standard Android emulator uh, that works on Intel chips. Um, and on Windows machines, um, yeah. But at the end of the, at the end of this video, you'll be able to play Fruit Ninja, and you'll be able to play Angry Birds and basically any other uh, Android game. So, yeah, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna go to the Android Studio website. Uh, so Google Android Studio, click on this, and I'm just gonna download the latest release. Okay. I have read this and it's the Mac with Apple chip is the one that you want to download. So yeah, I'm going to download this um, <clears throat> file has been downloaded. Let's install it. So I open it, drag it to my application folder. And then I'm going to open it. Click open. Okay, so now let's create a virtual device. So click on, sorry, sometimes you won't have the screen open. Um, so I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go to the bottom, sorry, top left here and hover over this device manager part of it. And yeah, let's go. So I'm going to create a virtual device. Um, one thing that's important in this list is to make sure that you're looking for uh, something with a Play Store icon on the Play Store call. If you don't, then you won't be able to use the Play Store. So let's choose Pixel 4. All right, next. And um, I happen to already have one of these API packages. Um, but if you don't, you may have to like download the entire, uh, library. Uh, but I happen to have SV2. If let's say we want to, let's just do something that you probably have a setup closer to. So, um, it'll say system image must be selected to continue. So what you need to do is you need to download this. So let's say I want to run something on, um, API level 32. Um, I have to make sure to download the, uh, the, the system image. Uh, before I can do anything. So I'm just going to go through this example here. So yeah, let's let this download. Image has downloaded. Let's move on. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to choose, let's just do API level 31. Click next. Um, yeah, this is my pixel device. Let's start with portrait. Um, and yeah, let's click finish. All right, so the virtual device is created. Let's spin it up. Okay, it's turning on. Give it a few seconds. All right, so as you can see, it has our standard Play Store and browser and some other apps that come with uh, like a stock image uh, of the Pixel 4. Uh, let's go into Play Store. And that's sign in. Um, I'm going to blur out the next part uh, since it's, you know, I'm going to use my personal account. But yeah, here you can uh, fill in your Gmail account and password. Once you've finished uh, signing in and clicking through all the um, subsequent options, now let's search for a game. So maybe let's do Fruit Ninja. So let's go here, let's install it. Um, and let's also play Angry Birds as well. We're going to do two games. So here we go. And I think Fruit Ninja is going to be portrait. So let's just move it to, sorry, it's going to be landscape. So let's move it to landscape mode. And you can see how much like real estate you have to work with. Um, I am using a touchpad. Um, I think with the mouse, it's a little easier to play this game, but let's just go ahead and play it. So here we go. So, got it. 
Um, yeah, here we go. So let's see. Game is loading. Uh, I can't even show you uh, how the uh, GPU is being used, and I can also show you how the CPU is being used. So let's actually pin this here. Um, we could pin that over here if we wanted to. And here's the memory. There's still uh, like six gigabytes of free memory, um, I think. I don't I actually don't know if the cache files is included here. Uh, that, that would make sense. Anyway, um, back to CPU part. Uh, yeah, so it's using you know a lot of CPU. I'll just keep this on the right, but yeah, we can play. So let's do this. Um, please tell us your age. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Okay, so. I don't want to share data with advertisers and here we go. So let's go, let's see, play now. All right, let's play the game. Let's do that. So it's a little laggy. Um, all right, so let's just slash it. All right, just slashing stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, I should not, oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously I don't play this game. Um, okay, so it's, it's very interesting. You can turn it up a little bit. So that's, that's kind of how that game is. Um, okay, I guess it's not as laggy once you start playing. Uh, let's click, let's rotate back. Uh, let's actually play the other game now. So I think we downloaded uh, Angry Birds as well. Um, let's actually check on the status of that. So um, <clears throat> Angry Birds. So it's one of those portrait style games again. again. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, one more thing to note is if you go back to device manager, um, you can see that it's like around 500 megabytes of RAM. Um, you can increase that. You can increase, okay, sorry. Um, is 1.5 gigs of RAM and uh, 256 heap size. You can actually increase this number um, when you build a new device. And I think that should improve the performance uh, of the emulator. Um, so right now it's just whatever came with default in terms of like RAM and storage. Okay, cool, let's play. Um, Okay, cool. So it's telling me to catapult. All right. Cool. So that's kind of how you play. It's pretty good, honestly. This is actually sound is great. It's not super laggy right now. Um, transitions are pretty smooth. Okay. Cool. So let's do this again. Okay, we're on hit them. Uh, okay, cool. So that is Angry Birds. All right, so I think we're good here. Um, let's rotate it back. So yeah, in conclusion, yeah, if you uh, download Android Studio and create a virtual device, uh, works out pretty well.